Hi, this is Kevin. Today we're gonna try to print a really long paper using the Epson printer with a, a back a back feed slot. We don't have a roll of paper, so we just uh, tape two letter size paper together. We're gonna do a sublimation. So remember the sublimation paper, the pink or the color side is the back and the white side, the white side is coded side, is the one that you're supposed to print on. So we match up the seam and we just tape it. Uh, the final product will have a seam in the middle because it's not continuous paper, but, uh, uh, but this one will just show you how to, how to print a really long paper. Um, so the lighter size is eight half by 11, so after we tape together, it will be eight and a half wide, and 22 inches long. We're going to use a WF3640 as example. The 3640 have two trays, but also have a back tray. And we adjust, uh, adjust the width. When you tuck it in, you're going to feel the printer going to catch it. And as you press the blue until it's loaded, you tuck it in and press the blue button, it should load. However, you may encounter this message. Uh, there could be two problems here. One is you did not adjust the width, so the paper is kind of screwed, so it was loaded sideways. And uh, the second one is uh, you, if you're using the sublimation paper, the sublimation paper, some of them have a curl. So you want to curl the bottom and make a, make a curl back to make it flat. The mechanism is you're pushing the paper in and it trigger a push up this lever. And the printer knows that you have a paper. Uh, then then will show ask you to press the blue button after you press it, printer is going to do a couple checks. Uh, doing those checks, if uh, the paper was loaded sideways or the paper curls up, the printer will stop from printing. So now we have everything corrected. Let's, uh, let, let's see it in, uh, in real action. Okay, now it's checking. And then checking is done. Uh, so now we fire up the Photoshop and go to print. So we we'll select the correct printer. And printing setup. And the paper source, we're going to select a rear paper slot. Column side will be user defined. Paper width will be 8 and this will be 20. You can see the maximum width is 8.5 and the maximum length is 47 inches. And then we can go print. Uh, this is sublimation paper, so it will now print on true color. And uh, we need to uh, heat press it to transfer it to true color. Okay, let's do it then. this video, visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com or locally, Greensboro, North Carolina. Thank you. Cheers.